Sta, 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 sta. Oh, dog toys. And at my feet, there's a dog. What we have here, because I'm late uh, to the party and, you know, life has its way of doing things and, and taking up your time, is I have from Novato, California, the May 2015 Japan Creek. Um, so, you know, rather than just keep yattering along, uh, let's go ahead and open this sucker up. All right. May 2015 Japan Crate. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, you have to pardon me. My dogs are asleep. One is upstairs snoozing. The other one is at my feet. Um, because they're both exhausted from swimming today and going to the groomer. All right. So, uh, we opened one Japan crate, what was it, maybe a month ago, maybe maybe two months ago. It was pretty interesting. Opened it with my niece, and she found the do-it-yourself kits absolutely amazing. She loved them. So, uh, I would like to see what we've got this time around and see if it's just as engaging as the last Japan crate. You can see our last review of the Japan crate at www.unboxings.com. All right, so let's take a look. Pop this puppy open. As you can see, Japanese candy delivered monthly. All right inside, we have the contents of the Japan crate. All right, so let's look at this. This is nice. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna come right out and say things. Uh, compared to other boxes that we get, this is very nice, namely because see this card right here. This, this thing right at the very top. Other subscription boxes. Ah. Other subscription boxes such as the Loot Crate, the Nerd Block and such. Uh, whenever they, they send you something. Even even like Pet Box and Bark Box. Whenever they send you something with a description of what's inside. They put it at the bottom of the box. This is somewhat refreshing with this Japan Crate. They put this at the top. Right here, right on the very top, and you know, it's got this little comic, and you flip it around, and it tells you what's inside, right? You look here, it tells you what's in the mini Japan crate, uh, what's in the original, and what's in the premium. Now, being the glutton that I am, I ordered the premium, and that's why I have an extra two pounds of candy and stuff shipped to my house. All right, so that's nice. Here we go. Uh, I'm going to read from this card because, you know, to be honest with you, my Japanese is horrible, if almost non-existent, so, and I don't want to look like a complete ass. Right here, we have the, this is cute, this, with the karaoke on the front, little frog. Waku Waku Zuka and Gummy! Explore the life cycle of a frog with these, really? With these clever gummies. Flavors include apple frog eggs with a surprise and green musket flavored tadpoles and frogs. That's, and if you look on the back, this is just really weird. They, they have tadpole eggs and, and frogs. So they have, they have gummies with frogs. All right, next. Let's see what we have here. Next inside, Gyo 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 Gamu Gum. Use four flavors of gum and visual guide on this package to create your own flavors. You have the base flavors of green apple, grape, uh, yogurt, yogurt, <laughs> and peach. What flavor will you make? Uh, I get the feeling. There you go. Take a nice good look. I get the feeling that with the flavors that they've given, I would somehow still make dog food flavored um, gum. However, um, if you could read Romanji, on the back, right there, you have the, the instructions on how to make several different flavors. All right. Let's see. <laughs> this is cute. See this? Look at that. 
That's adorable. This is called Chocolate in Disguise. Chocolate is a lot like us. When it gets bored, it puts on a costume. Well, at least these chocolates. Each character has unique fortunes for each color. Visit our blog for a guide. That's cute. So, your chocolate is in disguise. Like Transformers? Alright, let's see. Uh, I... Let's look at this girl first. Korokoro Animal DIY. This kit reminds us of building tiny snowmen. Mix the powders to make a candy similar to mochi. Use the different flavors to build unique and fun animals. Then eat them! That's cute. Look at that. It's got a panda. It's got a pig. Instructions on the back. My niece is going to love this. Alright. Uh, here is... Let's see. Beware the sour... <laughs> I don't... You know... These are Japanese candies. I don't know why I'm trying to see if I'm holding it up right. Because you're not going to be able to read them. Well, most of you aren't going to be able to read them. Lord knows I can't read them. Beware the sour grapes. Each pack contains three round pieces of gum. But something is hiding. Two pieces are sweet, and one is very sour. Beware the sour grape. This is, this is so funny. This is essentially, uh, what's that called? Russian roulette with sour grape gum. That's kind of awesome. Uh, let's see, next. What is this? We have, uh, this is sort of hard to see. All right, got that right there. See that? All right. This is Gimbisu Chocolate Bar Z. A light wafer snack that has been soaked in a rich, chocolatey goodness. A unique texture between smooth and chocolatey and crunchy. It's a whole new experience. I don't, that's, all right, that's, that's quite a lot to move up to. Um, this is a bonus item. All right, this is cute. I'm going to take it out of the plastic bag so you can see it better. Uh, this is an act. This is really cute. And it feels nice. It's just nice spongy material. Okay, so this is the bonus item. Um, I don't know if this is a cell phone strap or what, but... Because this really isn't what you would they, they market it as. Because this would never hold up. The bonus item... All May crates include a fun bun keychain with one of over 100 faces. They're soft and smell just like real bread. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Wait a second. These are freshly baked, so if your smell is too strong, let your bun cool for a few days. Wait a second. Holy crap. Okay. This is awesome. Wow. Uh, okay, so... This I would not use as a keychain. Look at that. It's just a string, a little metal thing attached to the plastic bun, which is just part of the mold. It, it's cool if you if you if you were a kid, if you want to use this as a well, part of a strap or something, but it does smell like bread. It's like if you took I don't know. Maybe a pizza crust, maybe a pretzel. It Man, that's awesome. Okay, sort of stupid. I know. I know. Because this is what I was like when I was a kid. Which was eons ago. I know that I would have loved something like this. Just because of the smell. Because um, it's so weird. And it's so, so goofy. It's, it's, it's really goofy. You know. You know it's not going to be a functional keychain. However... The, the novelty of it being a bun, little little bread bun, uh, with a with one of a hundred faces that smells like bread. Not gonna last. You know it's not gonna last. But the novelty of it is awesome. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. That's that. This. Yaukin maple hot cakes. These are a complete pancake experience without the mess. All right. We'll have pictures of these, close-ups of these, on our Unbox Things website, okay? Uh, pretty amazing when you take a look at them. Uh, some of these we will have taste tests and give you a better experience of, of what it tastes like. But, uh, so a complete pancake experience without the mess. Thick, delicious maple filling sandwich between two perfectly moist cakes. 
All right, yeah, if you, if you, if you take a look, right there, All right? Next, they always have these. I don't, well, no, this is something different. This is called strawberry chocolate. All right, can you see that? Again, remember, go to our website. We'll have close-up pictures of it. Uh, some of it will be inside, some of it will be outside the packaging. All right, strawberry chocolate, smooth strawberry and milk chocolate shaped into a strawberry on a mini spoon handle. Each spoon color has its own fortune. Ooh, it's got a fortune. Uh, check our fortune translation blog for more. They've got a fortune translation blog? Okay, well, cool. So, uh, you know, they have a lot of those things in Japan where they have things like um, ice cream. Ice cream sticks, popsicles um, that have that have fortunes on the stick. Uh, so I'm supposing that this is very similar. All right, we only have a couple things left inside this box. Let's get to it. Uh, this is fascinating. Okay, you got that? Omashiwasi Cheetos. Not as intense as your typical Cheetos, these Umashi Cheetos have a mellow, sweet, and salty corn taste. The more you eat them, the more you like them. So, that's, that's neat. That's, alright. Uh, we have a drink. Hmm. Alright, well, I'm going to completely butcher the pronunciation of this. Ajikite Cider. Ajikite translates to burst open. So prepare for a bubbly adventure. This cider is fruity, crisp, refreshing, and delicious. A perfect drink for those warm days. I guess, you know, what was the other one that we tried? I can't remember. I will have to go look that one up on our website. But it was, it was yam flavored or something. I don't know. It was, it was pretty weird. However, this, um... This I'm looking forward to. I'm going to actually put this in the fridge. Last time I tried it, I did not put it in the fridge. The last drink that they sent to us. And finally, we have... Oh, wow. Why do they make this so hard to pronounce? <laughs> I don't even know I'm going to try. All right. Caballo, Tukutamayo, Juicy. Create your own Caballo Juicy candies with this... It's a Japanese candy, and you know something? I'm reading it like an old Filipino woman. Uh, create your own Caballo Juicy candies with this fun DIY kit. Mix the flavors, press into the mold, and cool! Uh, this includes tube with stickers to safely hold your candy creations in style. Alright, so there you have it. Uh, I think this box was about $30. This is this is an interesting box. It's got a lot, a lot of stuff inside it. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to tasting some of this stuff. Um, some of this stuff I'm a little scared to taste. However, I think that I will enjoy just rummaging through this. Japan Crate, for our second Japan Crate, I think this was really interesting. I think it's got me pretty excited about what's in store. Um, I'll probably... Well, I know I have one more box because it's sitting right here on my desk that we have to open because I've been slacking. But I'm looking forward to opening that. This is the May 2015 Japan Crate. So, yep. So, uh, look forward to our June Japan Crate review, which will be soon. Um, hopefully, I'll get to it before July. Uh, for my pronunciation, I am so sorry. However, uh, you know... Eh, what can you do? Um, maybe I'll get somebody who's a better Japanese speaker than I am to pronounce some of these things and to actually sit here and taste test with me sometime. Or I'll get like uh, two or three other people to help me with the taste testing and the pronunciation. That's using the old noggin. So, for unbox things, uh, the May 2015 Japan Crate. Do I consider it a good buy? Sure, I think it's a good buy right now. Um, I will probably get another two or three of these boxes. Um, we will be comparing this box, or, or the June 2015 box, with the Scotch box and the Tokyo Treat box uh, and see how those stack up with one another. So please check out our website, www.unboxthings.com, 
for reviews of each of those boxes um, and and pictures and close-ups and more detail. So um, I'm gonna go take this my Hajikite cider. I'm gonna go put it in the fridge now. All right. Look forward to talking to you soon. Bye.